Now he had a forgettable <laughs> test in Chennai with bat. He played that memorable innings in Melbourne. But we have we have seen some criticism towards Rahane for just not carrying that sort of form uh, into a big home series, and he's not quite fired ever since then. How can he find his mojo back? Uh, well, he he has done it in the past. Uh, the innings that comes to my mind is uh, the one that he played against South Africa at Ranchi. Uh, I thought that was uh, the best I saw for Jinke Rahane at home. Uh, he's a bit of a, an anomaly there, uh, where uh, someone who's born, brought up, uh, or has played all his cricket in India, but uh, relishes conditions overseas because uh, loves the ball coming on to the bat. Uh, he's not someone who's extraordinarily equipped to uh, to handle spin on on a raging turner. Uh, which it was actually by the day four, day five uh, in the first test match. So, you know why he struggles uh, sometimes in India. You got to just be patient with him and uh, expect him to find a way of scoring runs. Uh, uh, maybe once he's against spin, he tried to dominate. He just uh, uh, didn't get it right against Do Dominic Best in the first innings. Uh, second innings, of course, uh, uh, the foot was uh, elsewhere. It should have been a lot straighter. Uh, you would expect a seasoned camp campaigner to find a way out. He's played so much cricket, Belly. And you were surprised at the fact that he averages below 40 at home, 37.35 after that first test. It's the kind of thing you don't expect from a mainstream, top-order, regular Indian batsman in the test side. Do you think it's the sort of thing that plays on his mind as well, the fact that he isn't quite as prolific at home? Um, I'm sure it does play on his mind. I mean, you're always aware of, I think, things around, even though you're trying to block as much, um, you know, I suppose, statistics and things out of your mind. But yeah, it's a surprise, I think, for any player. I think when you're in your home conditions, whether you're an England player growing up on seeming pitches, you expect to deal with that better than maybe sometimes travelling abroad. So I think it's a surprising fact that, again, yeah, like at home, um, his numbers aren't as good as when he travels, which is which is a real surprise, whatever country you play for. But um, again, when you're a top-order player in Test match cricket, whether it's whatever country, your job is to score runs and and that's what he's got to get back to. Mm. Akash, it's mm. so it's such, you call him an anomaly. He gets these innings that we remember for such a long time, and in between, just goes a bit missing. Is it fair to expect more from Rahane? Uh, one hundred percent. One thing, actually, slightly radical thought that comes to my mind is uh, uh, when he's playing at home. Uh, I think five is a little too low for uh, for the kind of player that he is. Uh, he, when you are someone who likes the ball coming onto the bat nicely, you're not. Uh, you're, you're better against the faster bowlers, uh, even against the swinging ball. Uh, as compared to against uh, a, a turning ball when the ball has gone soft. He's not someone who muscles the ball. He's someone who times the ball. Uh, so, that number also is not really working in his favour, batting at five. Uh, uh, of course, there's no place at the top, so that, that cannot be changed. And, uh, and you're absolutely right. You would expect more from Rahane. He needs to fire.